Hi, welcome to RPPC's QuickBooks Tutorials. RPPC Inc. is an accounting firm who specializes in QuickBooks and helping your business succeed. Hi, welcome to another QuickBooks tutorial from RPPC Inc. Today we're going to take a look at QuickBooks Online and changing user access rights. With your company file open, you will go to the Company tab and Manage Users. Here you will see the users. You click on the one that you would like to change and click Edit. Right now this person has View Only Reports Access Rights. To change that, you would click on Change. And you will have these choices. A regular or custom user is an ordinary user. They may have access to all QuickBooks Online Plus features or you can limit the access to customers and sales and vendors and purchasers. The next option you would have would be the company administrator. They have access to all the features and capabilities in QuickBooks Online Plus. For reports only, they see a special version that shows only reports. They can access virtually all the reports except those listed with contact information of customers or vendors. And the time tracking only. When time tracking only users log into QuickBooks Online Plus, they also see a special version that only has time sheets for themselves and time reports. So to change, the user, you would click on what you want changed, limited, or whatever changes you want, click the next button, and you will have another screen to set users' administrative rights, user management, do you want them to view manage other users? and add, delete, and modify users. In this case, we don't. The company information, they can view it only. And subscription and billing, can the user subscribe to new services? Unsus unsubscribe and change how you're billed for QuickBooks Online Plus? And the answer would be, again, no. Once you've done this, you click Finish to save, and the access rights will take effect next time the user logs in. Pretty straight, straightforward and, and simple. Thank you for watching our PPC's QuickBooks tutorials. If you have any questions about this or any other tutorials we have, or if you have suggestions on ones you'd like to see, please contact us at the numbers below or send us an email at info at rppc.net. Thank you.